Hey there viewers, welcome back to the Self Made Auto Channel. Look at this 06 Chevy. It's got the 5.3 flex fuel engine in it. Came in, the money lights on, and it has some rich codes. And I'm going to show you a quick way to nail this thing down. Uh, kind of, I don't want to say it's a common problem, but it's a common GM problem on flex fuel engines. And I'm going to show you what it takes to fix it. First thing we're going to do is we're going to grab some data. We'll take a peek at our fuel trims here. All right, so we can see, let's see where we at. We're in closed loop truck, sorry, semi warmed up here. Uh, we can see our fuel trims are holding steady there at uh, minus 13, minus 14, so it's taking away fuel. Bring the RPMs up here. And that stays pretty steady. Uh, so that's going to tell us we likely do not have a problem with the mass airflow. Uh, we're going to have to switch her back to some metric here. So we can read our mass airflow. So we got a 5.3 engine. Our mass airflow is running about 5.3 grams a second. Uh, so that's spot on the money. And I'll show you on these little guys here what you're going to want to look at. Uh, I think we keep an engine data too. Uh, being a flex fuel engine, uh, the way these learn what fuels in the vehicle is through the fuel trims. They don't have an alcohol sensor anymore. And I suspect when we find our fuel alcohol content, it says we're running 36% alcohol, which nobody in our area even sells E85. I don't even know where you can buy it. So that is going to be our problem. Uh, these codes can mop the floor with you if you're not uh, familiar with this data PID. So anytime you're working on a uh, you know a flex fuel GM that does not have a flex fuel sensor, always check your alcohol content um, because these things will get you. Uh, so right now it's actually adding fuel as if it has you know a 36% alcohol content, which we're going to verify that it does or doesn't. Uh, so what we have to do. After we verify that, we should be able to let's see. We're going to go under special functions, and then the uh, fuel composition comp position <laughs> reset. Um, we're going to do that, and then I believe there is also an ECM update for these, uh, so we're going to check that too. Uh, but first thing first, let's let's see. Oops, we're going to see if we can get to a. Uh, fuel pump test, got a fuel pump test. We're gonna see how much alcohol is actually in this little guy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab, I took and hooked up a fuel gauge just so we can grab uh, some fuel out of it. So we'll activate the fuel pump here. If I have to toggle it a couple times, we'll get 90 milliliters of fuel. And then we'll uh, put in a 10% water mixture and all of the alcohol and the gas should bond with the water. Oh, I'm probably gonna spill it here, but we'll see. Ooh, I got really close. All right, so I'm gonna let that sit for a second. Maybe about 91, I'm gonna have to dump a little bit out, and we're gonna top it off with water. We'll shake it up, let the alcohol bond with it, and see what our percentage, our ratio of water to uh, fuel is here. Should have a rubber stopper or something for your beaker, but we're not a bunch of scientists. So we got that shook up. So we'll let that sit, let it settle, let the, let the alcohol coagulate. I don't know if that's the right term with the water. And then we'll see, you know, around here, most of the gas pumps are, you know, they advertise, or the E10, I guess it is, is it 10? I don't even know. Uh, but I find it's usually somewhere between 5 and 8% alcohol. Uh, but we just want to make sure, because if this thing got, you know, some E85 in it, which, you know, wouldn't hurt it, but its learned value isn't correct, or we at least want to make sure that, you know, it's saying 36%, but it's wrong. That's what we're hopeful for. All right, so our beaker's filled up to 100 milliliters, and we can see it kind of the water line settled out right there. So we've got about 5% alcohol. 
uh, which like I say is pretty normal. If we let this sit a little while and let all the little bubbles come down, it'll probably be six, seven percent, but uh, definitely not 36 percent alcohol. So we'll back back out of our fuel pump. Test there. Fuel composition reset. We're going to reset the counters. Okay, the reset back to three. Now we instantly should be able to see our fuel trim corrections. Uh, where am I going here? Live data, engine, fuel trims. Let's fire this pig up. We're gonna have to wait for it to go in closed loop and start learning here. Like I said, I'm pretty sure there's a uh, ECM update. So our fuel trim relearn is enabled right now. And we can see already our short term is spot on the money. So that looks really good. I would have to check, um, I might have checked service data to see when the uh, alcohol relearns. I believe it's at, uh, I'm 95% certain it is at refilling events with a minimum of like a three gallon change. So that's what gets these things goofed up is when people put in like, you know, $10 here, $10 here, $10 here. Um, yeah, so it's at a 3%. I'm, I'm, I'm almost positive it needs a refilling event. I will look that up before the end of the video just so we're certain. Yeah, so our fuel trims look really good there. Let's check for a uh, uh, ECM calibration update here. Uh, let's see, let's see if we should be able to get our kale IDs right out of here. And then we'll compare them to what is available and if it needs to be reflashed, we'll reflash it also. So I hopped on the TIS website, uh, ran this VIN uh, to check the latest programming update and you can see here it does have a part number uh, the Cal IDs 126 19 623 uh, new software for improved E85 compatibility and then it replaces the old uh, Cal ID the 246 so uh, 126 19 so we'll pop back onto ours 126 19 so that's the latest uh, software for the um, uh, PCM in regards to that so pop back here and that's supposed to be the the latest calibration so no need to flash for that and then they've got this uh, Cal ID here for the new calibration for uh, E85 compatibility the uh, 19625 that's for the engine uh, where's our engine uh, PCM engine calibration 19625. So it looks like this one is up to date in regards to um, the E85 compatibility. Because I don't think I've got one one training update. Get system calibration. Those are all. So it doesn't look like uh, we have to reflash this one. So that's it. This one was a gravy. We're done with that. Pop back in here. We'll just bounce back out. Go in. We'll clear our codes. Oops, got to turn the key on there, fella. We'll clear our codes, and this thing's good to go. Take it for a little toot down the road, make sure our fuel trims stay good and steady, let it relearn the long term. I'll look up the uh, procedure for the alcohol content relearn. All right, guys, so I was just looking up the uh, uh, info for you on when it goes through a relearn procedure, what the exact process was, you know, refilling events versus, you know, driving and relearn and stuff like that. And I knew GM had a bolt in on these. Uh, because it's kind of been an ongoing, you know, problem with, you know, 
uh, short trips and short fill-ups. Uh, and I noticed uh, on the uh, bolt in there that it says the uh, classic full-size truck, so it's going to be a Chevy Classic, uh, that it has part number uh, 1261 9633, and ours is 1261 9623. Uh, but this is right on GM site, so and this is looking up specific per bin, so I think before we go on our little trip, uh, we better uh, plug in and uh, uh, verify the uh, cal, cal numbers here. So I grabbed our uh, J2534 interface device, logged in uh, just to verify these cal IDs, and they do not show that uh, that 633 number, they just show the 623 uh, software for the E85 compatibility. And it replaces 3246. So our current calibration is correct. I mean, the only uh, the only updates available on this truck right now, uh, currently, well, that's not even an update because it already has the uh, 1454. Yeah, so uh, you'd have to, we'd have to look at a bolt in to see which these are. Uh, let's see, select only to correct customer complaint of reverse garage shift shutter. So. Um, yeah, so everything is uh, everything's up to date. We got all green check marks. No updates on this baby, so I'm not sure about that service bolt-in. So we're off and rolling. Uh, I've got our scan data down here. Uh, we're probably gonna go about you know six seven miles. Uh, we're gonna see what our alcohol content relearns to. And, uh, take it from there. Kind of a rainy, gloomy day all day today. So we're going to go out and uh, cruise with it, let our fuel trims uh, relearn here. We'll go probably, you know, six, seven miles, uh, double check our alcohol content. Has to be driven, I think, at least seven miles in closed loop. Um, and then the other big thing to remember, too, if you're working on a Chevrolet uh, that does not have the alcohol sensor and you um, do the uh, reset on it, you have to be a hundred percent certain it's you know ten percent less ten percent or less of alcohol in the fuel tank when you reset it uh, otherwise you got to drain the tank uh, to, to reset it. you got to drain the tank and then fill it up with regular you know regular fuel I guess or you know under E10 right now our fuel trims look pretty good and there's our final product after a test drive the fuel trims are gorgeous. Our uh, learned fuel alcohol contents still hovering around three percent, but we know that we have about you know five or eight. And like I say, it may take a refilling event. I'd have to read the data more, but I'm completely happy with this fix and 100 percent confident we can give it back. And it's not coming back for this problem. I can't forget my laptop. And uh, I would say, well, at least not right away, right? because uh, this certainly could happen again um, but it's gonna take a while so I would say if you're in a shop you know and you're in your working you're dealing with the public uh, or if you've you know fixed your vehicle uh, that has this issue uh, be sure to educate yourself on how the uh, alcohol compensation works on these vehicles you know for example you know you just be mindful of when you're filling up your tank you know try not to you don't get you know six seven gallons at a time you know you know empty to full is probably your best bet in this by the way it works um uh you know filling it when the vehicle is running is is difficult on these because of the way the way they work without the alcohol sensor you know because it's a calculated value so that can get it all goofy um and then of course if you reset the value on these it's got to have you know regular e10 or less fuel in it I'll see if I can find some literature on it and I'll post it in the description below uh, so you guys can kind of read that for yourself because I'm not really good at reiterating what I read sometimes. Um, and that's it. Anyhow, quick easy fix for a uh, rich running Chevy. And uh, you guys can check us out on our socials, Google+, Facebook, Patreon, all that business. And just remember, viewers, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.